Hey everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Today we are going to... Now nah, we'll figure it out when we get there. That's how I play my... That's how I play my games. Just figure out when you get there. Ah, off to a great start. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is go into this whirlwind and go across the water here. How are we going to get back? I don't know, but that doesn't matter. Because we gotta get us a wake-up thing. That's what we're doing, right? It's been a few days since I've recorded. I just reminded myself of something that we'll get to do later. Alright, yeah, I've got this mapped out. Okay. Ah, the soothing Minish Woods music. Here is Syrup's Hut. Ah, welcome. Care from some Granny's homemade potion? One sip and you're and you're full of energy. Please take. Ooh, please look around. Oh, uh, we can get blue potion, which refills your hearts and and stuff. But we're here for the wake up mushroom. And ah yes, fine choice, my dear. That's a new time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That's why I call it a wake up shroom. Oh no, really? I thought they called it because it's full of poisonous acids. My mistake. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? I need most of my rupees. <laughs> I need rupees. Alright. You got the wake up mushroom. Its nasty stench chases away the sleepies. Yes, the sleepies. You've got a knife for good for fine goods. That my dear. The highly guard I don't want your blue potion. One, I can't afford it. Two Fuck you. How's that for a two? Alright. So now we're going to need to go back to the Minish in the shoe shop and wake up Ram, I think his name was. Hey, there's a piece of heart down here. Getting lost pays off. Alright, uh, back to Ram in the shoe shop so we can finally get our Pegasus boots and get into that, that swamp. And maybe get closer to an element. Ah, here's how we get out of shortcuts. Mm, I'd like to make it an even 30. Alright, going over. Da -da -da -da. No singing. I forbid you to sing, but I like to sing. Shut the hell up. Destroy the Monty Mole. Fine, fine, fine. And stop talking to yourself. Uh... Alright, back in Hyrule Town. <laughs> Sorry, I temporarily lost my mind for a minute. I'm back. Hey, it's Maulin. I originally thought Maulin would give you an extra bottle falling downstairs and uh, for buying some of her milk, but no, she doesn't. She just fills up an existing bottle. Okay, so we just go up to this guy and press R. And he wakes up. What? What is this terrifying bad smell? Wake up, mushroom? I should have guessed. So you woke me up? Thanks, I just remembered. I have something urgent to do. Huh? What now? There are new, more new shoes? You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. Yeah, making shoes in your sleep. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? That's exactly why I'm here. Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me up, here, you can have them. No charge. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish up this last bit. Yeah, so he pounds in a nail and shines him. Why the Minish couldn't do that, I, I don't understand. It's all he did. And there we go. Here, take these. These are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. You got the Pegasus boots. Hold down the button and run faster than the wind. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waiting for me up. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if you if I can ever help you with shoe problems. Alright. These are going to make traveling a lot less annoying. Because as you can see, we can run fast, although we don't have much control, so we usually end up crashing into things. But once we get the Pegasus boots, this is what I'm waiting for. We're gonna go back to Swift Blade and learn a few new moves. 
Hmm, a new sword? Fantastic! And you seem to have acquired some new squil skills with it. Squills? What the hell is a squill? Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, would you accept the new, this new training? You can get this as soon as you get the white blade. Or, is it as soon as you upgrade the white blade? Eh, whatever. I think it's as soon as you get it. I will now teach you the technique called Rock Breaker, so pay attention. No, we are not going to be able to break rocks. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Quite useful, in fact. Yes. Ha! Good. If you have said you didn't understand, I would have serious doubts about you. <laughs> I like how, how they make fun of themselves by, by saying whatever. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That is why I now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the secret of the swift blade switcheroo technique of training. Watch this. Switch a roo. You know it's strange. In my practice file, which is actually on a different cartridge, whew, you must try it now. Break the pots with your sword, that's all. Alright. I'll tell you later. Yes, fine work, fantastic. Even, I will now give you this tiger stroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can reveal it with this scroll. You learn the secret rock breaker fighting technique. Shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow. I guess we can break rocks. Uh, but we can't, once we got the Pegasus boots, we can now talk to him again. Ah, you... Yes, you have the Pegasus boots. And now you seem to have more skill, too. Since the last five minutes ago. No, last 30 seconds. Last five seconds? Yes, I'm ready to train you again. So, would you like to train here? Please. You will now learn the, the technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Banks' boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, yes, you are my finest student. Just equip the swords and Pegasus boots and any button you like. That's why I will now use my... We've seen this before. Blah, switch our room. My other one, it's his secret possession uh, technique, and he says POSESSION. I think that's cooler. Alright, so just got uh, Pegasus boots. Yes, Tiger School. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that's what I wanted to get done. And we'll be able to move a little bit faster now that we have these things. Go! And we'll be able to slaughter things on our way. Um. Oh, also, one more thing. If you see a shiny tree like this, you can use your Pegasus boots to reveal a stump. Now let's shrink down and see what's in here. There's an old lady in the back of the woods who loves mushrooms. I hear she's working on some new kind of potion. You Maple? We were just there. No, Syrup. <laughs> maple is Syrup's daughter. Uh, I believe she appears in uh, the Oracle games. Will we get to those? Only time will tell. <laughs> time, Zelda games. People will understand. No, they won't shut up. Alright. So we're going to need to go back to that swamp, just go past the moblins. And ah wait, this is not the way. I'm gone off the beaten path. But soon the beaten path will be literally beaten. I understand. Sometimes when you when you uh, switch the screen, you can go, but sometimes not. Alright, here we go. Castor Wilds. So this must be the castle wilds. It's a nasty dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know that there's no element waiting for us somewhere in here, so in we go. Come on, Link, let's into the muck with us. Fuck the muck. Let's go. Oh, you can run across with the Pegasus boots, but if you try to go just normal, you'll sink and die. But that's not gonna be happening because we have the Pegasus boots. Alright. I have no idea what's up with this place. Is I don't know if it's a dungeon because it's a, it's a weird feel for a dungeon. We do get an item in here, and <laughs> it's a pretty nice one, allowing us to pimp shoot things. 
you'll see what I mean. You might be able to guess, or maybe you've played this game and just want to see me going through it. We'll be able to kill these eye guys. That's not their name. Funny, knowing Nintendo, I wouldn't doubt that's their real name. But, yeah, we'll be able to do that later. So what we gotta do first is shrink to minish size and go through this stump. And across here. Now we see the lily pad again, so we're going to need to whip out our, our wind jar and blow ourselves across. No pun intended. Well, it's not really a pun, it's more of a innuendo. Although, I suppose blowing yourself will... You know what? Let's not get into that. That's that's something we should not be talking about while we're going across on a lily pad. Can I think of it? Are lily pads really this small? I've never actually seen one in real life, but I, I would think they're not that tiny. Alright, this is possibly a lamer excuse for a mid-boss than the other one. I, I thought it was just some random thing that I was going to have to do to get like a hundred rupees or a piece of heart or something, but no, this is actually a mini-boss. They're guarding an item that makes them a mini-boss. And now we get... You got a bow! Now you can take out enemies from afar. That's right, we got the bow and arrow. So let's go shoot some shit. Cause that's what we do when we get those things. Like those eye guys. Mm-hmm. We'll be able to take them out. They are kind of annoying, but... Wait till you see Link's pimp shot. It, it is so amazing. Hurry up! Move faster, Lily! Alright, let's go. You gotta grow up. I don't wanna grow up. Well, you're gonna grow up anyway, so... Nothing you can do about it. I think there's some things we can do later that'll give us a bigger quiver, but... Eh, whatever. Alright, so we're at this guy, and check that out, isn't that sweet? Pimp shot, double pimp shot, triple pimp shot, quadruple, what the? Quadruple pimp shot, die! Yep, you gotta quadruple pimp shot these guys, or else they will not die. Ah, curse you, you darn serpent. Yay, Kinstone Peace. Mm. Now we're going to need this whirlwind to go over the the little pool of water back there. Because we have not yet gained the ability to swim. See, just like we did before to go over the other water. I like how they reuse tactics like that. Alright. Hey. Oh, that that is that's uh one of that's Swift Blade's ancestor. We'll go back to there once we have all four, all seven Tiger Scrolls. We can't do anything there yet. There's a few different incarnations of... Oh, hello. There's a few different incarnations of, of Swift Blade that give us special moves. But, uh, with all of them that I'm aware of, we can't do anything with yet. I know of one we have to unlock via Kinstone. And that one, well, we can just go in there. But one, we're going to need uh, another item. And that one, we're going to need the other Tiger Scrolls. So, yeah. Probably w wondering what we're looking for. Well, what we're looking for is actually Kinstone pieces. We need to find golden Kinstone pieces to Kinstone the Kinstone with the Kinstone. And put it in the Kinstone, and the Kinstone will let us Kinstone to the Kinstone. Hey, Kingstone! Uh, yes. So yeah, that's about as, as good an explanation as I'm going to give you. So that's one of three Kingstones we're going to get. Now that's one nasty looking statue that one eye has such an evil glow. Where? I see nothing. I killed that. Nasty glow or my ass, I killed him. Him shot. What the? I am a moron, but then again, that's not news. No, wait, wrong way. Well, well, I'm confused. This should be a good place to end off, so I'm Thrasho 2 saying, ah, fuck you. Saying, be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.